everybody and welcome to live stream number 54 today is monday happy monday everyone uh and it is 9 11 2017 thank you so much for taking the time to uh, to join today's live stream today's live stream is about title blocks so i got an email over the weekend from burn uh who asked a pretty simple question in regards to uh, title blocks and pretty much was like you know don't waste too much time, just a yes or no answer. Burn don't know me very well. I have a very hard time doing yes or no answers. So thought, hey, why don't we just jump in and uh, and do a live stream on it? See, we already got a people in here. Appreciate it. Hello, Jacob. Hello, Sasha. Really appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to, uh, to join today's uh, live stream. So title blocks inside of uh, Fusion 360. This is inside of uh, 2D drawings, something that I know I haven't done too much about, but I thought this is a um, this was a really good question from Bern. So um, I think that we should just jump into it and I'll get back into uh, to the chat uh, a little bit. Now, before I forget, down in the description area is my email address, lars.christensen.autodesk.com. And if you have any future topics, anything you would like to see in these live streams, um, go ahead and uh, and throw them in there. I did schedule this entire week's uh, live stream. So if you are subscribed, thank you. And you have your notification on, you should be uh, notified. Uh, pretty much four out of five are going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's where I am. Uh, and one's going to be at 3. I think tomorrow is at 3 p.m. or Wednesdays. I can't remember right now. All right. Let's jump in and talk fusion. That's what we uh, we really want to talk about. So I got a switch on the right screen. There we go. All right. So uh, talking about 2D drawings and talking about uh, title blocks. So if I go in here and uh, click on drawing and you get two options down here from design and from animations, we should definitely explore this a little bit deeper. But let's just go in here. You get a menu where you can choose uh, well, there's a couple of different options. You can either do a ASME, what is uh, American Standard, or you can do uh, ISO. Let's do uh, ASME first. So let's just hit OK. And uh, it's just going to take a second uh, for Fusion to load up the drawings here. And I'm just going to place this view. This have nothing, the view have nothing to do with anything. Um, so down here we get uh, the ASME standard uh, title block uh, in here. Now, if we go back to our model and we do a whole thing again from design and we click ISO. So for all my European friends, pretty much the rest of the world and United States, I think, um, you will see the title block looks a little bit different uh, in here. Um, and so this was the ASME Kind of like, I mean, they they pretty much contain the same thing. They just they just laid out uh, a little bit uh, a little bit different. Now, a couple of things that you should know about these title blocks. Uh, if you're not familiar with with two D drawings, title blocks are kind of like I don't know what what we want to call them, like the index and the, the book cover or something like that. Like this is where you have like. Um, your customer name, the part number, right? Who approved it, drawn by, all kind of like critical information in here. One thing that is neat uh, in here is that if I hover over it, you see how it kind of like changes the way it looks? If you double click on that, you actually get uh, this menu showing up here, depending on uh, what has been predefined in here. And of course, we're going to talk a little bit about customizing how do you uh, customizing your your, your um, title blocks because people many times want to do that. But you should, you know, if you don't have any specific company standards, this is probably a very good place to start out. You can uh, insert your company logo uh, right here. So if I click on this, um, it should open up a dialog box. This goes right out to my desktop, um, and I have a logo here now it says here place in the lower left corner so you will actually see that whoops if you don't click hang on this might be because i got the recording software going let me try that again so select your image that will be your company logo 
I select Globex, what I believe is uh, a Simpson company. Um, and if I click down here, it's supposed to snap down here, what it should be doing on yours. I think it's my recording software that is screwing up. But then it places uh, your logo in this box. Now, I should probably have done a little bit better job with this. Um, you can see how the two of the lines kind of like gets washed out. That's totally, totally on me. But this gives you an option to insert your company uh, logo in here. Uh, and then you can do all the things in here. You can add, um, you know, different sections. So approved by, and many times this is done uh, not by names, but actually initials. So you can actually go in here and we should be able to uh, type in uh, initials in here. Oh, my computer is really acting up. That's interesting. Okay. I can't use the shift command right now. Uh, so you can add different uh, things in here, drawn by, you can see all this, you can fill all this out. And when you when you then hit OK, uh, those uh, should come uh, come in here. Look, invalid keyboard. OK. This is what I love, love live streams. Let's just, why can't I do my shift in here? Um, what did I do? I did approve by, right? Can I just do my first? All right, so there it goes. I don't know why I wouldn't do the with the logo in there. I didn't test it out, of course, because I was scrambling right before. Oh, here we go. Now it looks like it snaps in. Okay, now it's working. Uh, so you can see that you can you can fill out these different these different fields. So just by double clicking, you get uh, this whole thing that is already set up in here. Um, and of course, I did this in the ASME. If I go over to the ISO, you will see the same thing happens. If I double click, I get uh, this showing up uh, right here. Now, uh, a couple of things we should probably talk about before I even um, before I even go out and talk about customizing this. And that is that when, if you, for example, in this case here, we have the logo in here, you don't wanna to have to change things around uh, all the time. You can actually um, go and um, you can output the drawing as a template so you can reuse that again. I'll show you that uh, in a second. So that's kind of like how you can go in and you can modify the title block uh, if you don't have weird keyboard interference. Uh, double click on the title block and then you get that dialog box. You can change all the things in there. And I will definitely recommend that if you don't have like already a created title block for your company, just use that and it has all the things you need in there. But if you do have your own custom uh, title block, what many companies do, uh, how do you modify this title block? Let's look at that. For that, uh, you actually need to use uh, DWG, so that's an old 2D uh, Autodesk, um, 2D Autodesk format, DWG, um, and uh, to do that, you can't, I don't think you can do this inside of Fusion, really, honestly. Uh, what I will use is, um, is AutoCAD. Now, one thing that Byrne uh, did point out in his email is that there is a lot of, uh, of clones of AutoCADs out there uh, that you can you can download and you can use and if that will work and burn that is on you to test <laughs> on your own. However, uh, do be aware of that if you Google uh, AutoCAD and I'm using something called Light AutoCAD LT. That's what I'm going to be using right now. Um, if you go in here and um, you go to the auto, if you just type in AutoCAD or AutoCAD LT and you go into Autodesk site, do be aware that you can download a 30-day trial. So this 30-day trial will let you uh, create, uh, the, for the next 30 days, um, you know, your title blocks. But also be aware of, uh, and I'm just saying this, if you are a company, a decent company, be aware of that for 50 bucks, uh, you can have access to AutoCAD LT for a month. And that should give you enough time, you know, to uh, to 
to get your title blocks all uh, laid out and defined and and things like that. I mean, like, you know, this is a uh, a good lunch with your sweetheart uh, kind of price, and you have a whole month to do that. So just be aware of that there is uh, that option. Now, I am, so I'm going to start a new project inside of AutoCAD LT. Now, let's just make sure that you don't come to me for your AutoCAD uh, questions because I don't um, I don't know much about AutoCAD, as you will see here in the two seconds. But I will show you a couple of tips, that, and then you can probably hack your way off the rest. First of all, uh, where the, the origin is down here defines uh, where the title block is going to be laid inside of Fusion 360 when it comes in here. So the lower right corner down here, that is where the origin uh, is in here. And then you can pretty much start drawing up how you want the title block to kind of like uh, lay out. So I'm just going to create kind of like a rectangle here. Um, I'm going to make it eight. I'm going to do this in, in inches, eight inches long, 2.5 inches uh, tall. And that's going to kind of like be my, my title block here. And all you now can do is you can start drawing up all the lines, uh, you know, and, and this is where I'm saying don't come to me for, uh, for too much um, information in regards to how uh, <laughs> AutoCAD works. But you can see here, all this kind of like the same tools as we are familiar with in here. Um, you can also add uh, text. So if I click here, I can place a text line. This is maybe where, you know, I would put in like customer. So this is where I want the customer, uh, the customer name to be to be in here. And then um, here's a little trick. Um, if you type, so in AutoCAD, you can type things in. If you type in ATT, you get this at definition. So type in ATT. And if I click on that, I can create a one of these tags. So I would probably call this one customer name. And then, and I'm misspelling it, that's okay. And then what is the prompt? So, so I would say, who is this for? This is just, this is how I would, I'm, I'm a sucker for these kind of, you know, uh, in here. And you can change height, you can do all different kinds of things. Like this 0. 0.75, whatever, uh, in the text height. So then I get this, that was a little bit big, whatever. So then I get this, uh, customer name tag that I can place in here. Now, the customer name is not gonna display anything in the title block until we put it into the prompt. So what I'm gonna do now, you should define your title block with all the things you want within the, the parameters, insert your image, all that stuff. Um, YouTube is probably a great place for, uh, for, for tutorials for how to do that. So I'm gonna save it um, as a DWG, uh, and I'm just going to throw it on my desktop here, doing this live. So I'm going to put it on my desktop, and I'm going to call this one Title Lars. Tile. I can't even spell today. A little Monday. So I'm going to save that as a DWG. Now, when I go into Fusion, to bring it in, I'm going to go down here in the lower area down here and don't you know you can always rewind these videos right and down here if I click down here you will see I get a title block now right now it has the ASME or the ANC title block but if I say insert title block and I go and find on my desktop that title Lars we just created you will see that that title block gets brought in now it only shows the customer but of course if I now Double click here. Now you will see I get that prompt that we put in with the AT and T tag. So here, if I now type in Globex, my keyboard is acting up. Uh, type in Globex, you will now see that that's gonna uh, appear in the title block, and that's kind of how you can create and customize uh, your own. Uh, your own title blocks. Now, like I said, I, I know this is not fancy, but I wanted to show it from, from the ground up. I didn't want it to just have some pre-fancy title block already uh, made up. So what is important, like I said before, 
uh, is that when you got everything customized in here, you can save it out as a, by clicking out here, output, save it as an output drawing template. And it literally saves it back into where all your, your standard is. So I can go over and you can create new folders and you can do, uh, you know, different things in here. So I can call this one my drawing um, template. Well, I us call it title block template. Bum, bum, bum. Um, and uh, you can, of course, you can go wherever you you want, you know, this to to kind of like live in your, you can create your new folders, new projects, um, wherever you, you kind of like want. I actually have one called template in here. So this is maybe where I would place mine, put it inside of there. Um, and when I hit save, then you will see that it now lives within um, that, that template folder, wherever it now is. There we go, template. So now it lives in here, title block template. But where it works is that when I go to create a drawing from this, just like we did in the beginning, from design, then over here uh, where it comes and says template from scratch, I can actually now go and browse to um, that title block template we just created 31 seconds ago and select that, and that is now gonna be the drawing template it's gonna be using. Uh, so when we open up this drawing, it will now open up with that uh, template in there, and we can now uh, you know, work with that. You probably wouldn't have had the Globex in there, but whatever, um, I, think, I think you get that. So um, I hope that that was kind of helpful. Long answer to burn. Uh, for his questions. Yes, you can absolutely modify uh, those uh, templates and create your own. Uh, you just need to do it in a DWG format like AutoCAD Lite. So I hope that that was, uh, that was helpful. Tomorrow, tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, we're going to talk about guide rails. So Friday, I talked about the what's new uh, from last week's update in Fusion 360. And I talked a little bit about the sweep command and I talked about rail. So tomorrow I want to show you what I talked about there in regards to using loft. So that's tomorrow. Um, again, don't forget down in the description area is my email address. If there's anything you would like to see, um, then, um, you know, send me an email. Love to, love to hear from you. That's about all I had planned for today. <clears throat> so I think that was good for Monday. You let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the video, do the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine. Thumbs down. That's okay. I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to end uh, the broadcast and jump into the live stream and just say hi to whoever is in there. we got about 64 people in there. It's absolutely awesome. So until the next time, have an awesome, awesome day.